Today is Yom Hazikaron, Israeli Memorial Day. This is the day in which we remember the soldiers who fought bravely on behalf of the modern nation of Israel, not only to establish it, but to defend it as well. We remember those who gave their lives in terror attacks. We remember the fact that we are so lucky to have a modern nation of Israel. For the first time in 2,000 years, we as a Jewish people live in a time and a place in which we have an Israel where we as Jews have political and religious freedom. Yom Hazikaron ends tomorrow night. And as Yom Hazikaron comes to a conclusion, we begin to celebrate Yom Hatzmut, Israeli Independence Day. The sadness of Yom Hazikaron gives way to the joy of Yom Hatzmut. As Jews who are Zionists, as conservative Jews, we say the prayer for the modern nation of Israel each and every week. And in that prayer, as well as in Birkat HaMazon, we include a blessing saying that we believe that the modern nation of Israel is the beginning of our redemption, is the beginning of the Messianic era. This is not an idea that is fleeting. This is an idea that we believe firmly in, one that is extremely important in terms of our perception of Israel today and in the future. Knowing that Israel is so important to us is incredibly important. And I would like to encourage everyone who is listening and watching today to take it into your own hands to celebrate Israel and to support Israel. I would like to suggest three different ways that you can do that. The first is tomorrow night at what I've been known to call the Khan Center or the Chan Center at 7.30 will be our community's official celebration of Yom Ha'atzma'ut with Micha Biton, a singer, not just from Israel, but from Sidorot, a community that has been under direct fire over a number of years by terrorists in Gaza. Please join us as I will be there at that celebration at the Chan Center tomorrow evening on Wednesday at 7.30. As well, please come on May 3rd to Congregation Beth Israel as we host the Hebrew University Dinner that will be raising important funds for a group of students who both serve in an elite part of the Israeli army and study at Hebrew University. Imagine what it must be to, to be a, a soldier who's fighting on behalf of, of Israel. The pressures and imagine what it must be to be a student who has incredible pressures of, of homework and, and tests. Merge the two together and understand how difficult it is for these students, these soldiers, to be able to find the time to work as well, to raise funds to be able to pay for their schooling. The Friends of Hebrew University here in Vancouver are going to help raise funds to pay for the tuition, for scholarships for these students dash soldiers. And finally, there's no better way to support Israel and to understand Israel than to actually be there. And so I want to encourage you, if you've not yet thought about it, to join me and my family on our synagogue mission to Israel from July 9th through July 21st. We have just a few seats open and I would like to see you join us there. If you have any questions about that trip to Israel, please feel free to call me or email me here at the synagogue. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you at these events over the course of the next couple months, learning about and celebrating and supporting the modern nation of Israel.